Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is the second video in this tutorial. Uh, in the first video, uh, as a recap, I created a sign-in form using the new codename one GUI builder. This is roughly uh, what, what it looks like. Uh, now that we're going to take a look at what the code it generates uh, looks like in NetBeans. So I created the, uh, the class originally in NetBeans, uh, the sign-in form GB, inside my sign-in uh, demo, which is just uh, the, the codename one sign in demo that's uh, on GitHub in uh, codename one demos. Uh, all of my fields have been added as private member variables with the GUI underscore prefix, so I can easily access them from my own code. There's lines that say specifically where I don't edit uh, after, and there's actually generated code sections that clearly I don't want to touch. Uh, so uh, in order to integrate this with my app, I'm just going to go to the main class. And right now, uh, the def the existing uh, demo, actually, this I just added this part. I'm going to remove it so I can re-add it. The existing demo uh, creates a bunch of nested containers with flow layout and box layout to to get the same effect as we got with the uh, GUI builder, which uses the layered layout. Now to use my new form, I'm just going to go new sign in form GB because that's the name of the form. I'm going to pass it the theme and I'm going to show it. And this line is just to make sure we don't do the, uh, the old form. And now let's run this one and see what it looks like inside the codename one simulator. And I'm using the iPhone 3GS skin. Uh, right now because it fits nicely on the screen. I could go iPhone 4 and you'll see it uh, uh, lays out a bit differently. It gets clipped to the bottom there, but uh, you get the idea. It's all still there. I'm going to go back to 3GS so that we can see it. Now one thing I alluded to in the previous video was the problem of what happens if we rotate it so if we rotate this to portrait mode, just our layout doesn't quite work. The things don't fit on the page. So in this video, I'm going to go through how you would uh, make this more responsive so that it will fit properly. So I'm going to go into the code for the sign-in form, and I'm going to override the layout container method. And this is called every time the form is laid out. So what I want to do is actually hide some things when I don't need them. So when we're in portrait mode, you can see what's going to happen. What we probably want to do is just hide that codename one label and slide these text fields up to the top. And that should make it fit a little bit better. So inside uh, the layout container, I'm going to get the layout uh, because we're going to adjust some of the insets and uh, uh, and hide some of the elements. So layered layout. Now the new GUI builder with auto layout will always be using the codename one layered layout as its layout. So we're going to check and see if we're in portrait mode. Now, if we're in portrait mode, then everything's good. If not, then we'll have to change some things. Uh, so the first thing we're going to change is we're going to hide the logo. Now, the one problematic thing uh, is that the, the top text field is linked. The top, mar the top inset is linked to that logo. So if the logo is hidden, the top inset is still going to actually be in the same place. So you can actually see what's going to happen here. Let's just show what this will do. Okay, so now our, our logo is hidden, but everything's still in the same place. So let's work on that. So the top text field, instead of linking it to the logo, we're going to link it in this case to the uh, top of the form. So and it's the 
username. And actually, we're, we're going to be changing the reference component. So we're going to be calling method on layered layout. Set reference component top. Uh, and we're setting it on the username field. And we're setting it to null because we don't want it to be linked to anything right now. And the third, the reference position, we're just going to set to zero uh, because it's uh, being linked to the same side of the top as the inset itself. Okay. And we need to make sure, because we're doing this in layered uh, layout container, the, it could be flipped in real time, so we need to actually be able to switch it back if we need to. So we're going to do the opposite if it's in portrait mode. GUI logo set visible. We're going to make the logo visible, and we're going to set the reference component of the username to be the, the logo. And uh, it will, we're going to put a one here. I'll talk about what that means. Uh, well, actually, what it means is that because we're placing it below it, the top is, the, the top of the username field is linked to the bottom of the logo. Had it been linked to the top of the logo, then we would set that to zero. The bottom of the logo, because it's the opposite side, uh, we set to one. And this number is a scale anywhere from zero to one or even negatives or, or positives. But zero links to the same side, uh, one links to the opposite side. And that should get us the result we want. So let's test it out now. Okay. Uh, that pretty much uh, fixes our form. So that was pretty simple to do, just changing the insets live. Now if we rotate, should handle it. Yeah, so we've got our code name one logo back. Everything's where it should be. We'll rotate again. And we'll look at this in a different skin, iPhone 4 skin, say. And it looks fine to me. Okay, so that's how easy it is to make your layouts responsive. Thanks for watching this video.